Hey guys, John Cristani here, and um, what I wanted to show you guys today is we're going to go over how to set up ads on the volume DSP. Woot. Um, so volume has its own ad network, which is really cool. And uh, volume is the, if you guys don't know about volume, volume is the tracking software I use to uh, help, make, help my campaigns make more money. So it's a great tracking software. The pricing, as of the time we're watching it, is $99 per month. Okay, So it's not cheap uh, by any means. But it's uh, it is it is one of the number one it it is one of the it's, it's the software I use to run um, basically all my ads. I don't launch ad campaigns without this anymore. It's uh you know as a professional, it just helps you take things to the next level. Now you don't need to start that you know use this from the get go, but uh, I definitely believe um, this helps. Um, and what they have is they also have their own ad network which is really cool so if we oopsies if we go over here we'll see they have the DSP okay so they have the DSP and they actually allow you to advertise on a lot of different sources so you can actually advertise on a lot of different adver, uh, advertising networks through volume so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do new DSP campaign okay we can either do a native campaign or we can do a banner campaign so let's select native okay so volume campaign name and we're just gonna do a uh, mob promo number one and um, what I'm gonna do is you know I'm gonna do a bid CPM so let's say Okay, let's say 0.1. Okay, so that'll be our bid. And you can read all this information, but what I'm going to do is I just don't want to waste a lot of time here. So I want to give you guys the maximum impact with the least amount of time. So if you guys want to go through and read this, which I suggest you do, I su highly suggest you read through whatever information you can get. And there's a help center. Um, uh, you know there's a help center and there's all this information on this software programs all of that information is available to you for free um, but I want to give you the information that you don't necessarily get for free the stuff about how to make money with affiliate marketing so new DSP campaign as you see oh, sorry they recommend the natives they recommend the native ads um, I'm gonna do mo promo one um, I'm gonna bid Point one, again. I don't know if point one is the right, right, uh, right amount, but we'll see. We're going to set our daily budget to twenty bucks a day. Our to or sorry, we'll set our total budget to let's say a hundred bucks. We'll set our daily budget to twenty bucks a day. Okay. Now our spend strategy, uh, we could say as soon as possible means it'll just spend it really quickly, or you could say smooth. So budget will be spent in the quickest time Oopsies. so we could spend a max budget per ad placement so let's say you know I'll say two bucks per ad placement um, and maybe I'll say you know five bucks per ad exchange so that's this is an interesting new feature I haven't messed around with but this is what I do if I had a budget of twenty dollars and um, let's pick a flow. So in this case, I have, you know, you can pick a URL if you have a URL. In, um, in this case, you know, I could select a flow, but let's, let's go with URL just to make things simpler for this. So I'm going to johncristani.com. I could go backslash, you know, mob or whatever my link is. I'm going to select flow, actually. Um, and we will say mob. Let's just say mob MGID flow. So we'll just use this flow. Um, if you don't have a flow, just enter in your URL. Okay. 
backslash whatever whatever your URL is. So uh, maybe it's um, you know, and again, if we were to set this up, uh, we might go to our go to our blog, go to our ClickFunnels extension. We'd say add new, and then we'd say okay add new extension we choose our funnel and let's say we wanted to use the the Robin Moore pre-sell okay so use the Robin Moore pre-sell and maybe I'd select that I type in my slug and I click create save page okay so now I have my now I have my my link you know my pre-sell page and I have, you know, so I just enter that in as my destination URL. Um, advertiser domain. So we might just say johncristani.com. Payout, let's say CPA fixed price. So let's just say we're making 49 or 45 dollars. I think it's 45 dollars per sale. Frequency capping. I'm going to set this to one time per day per user. Um. So frequency capping, you can read about it, but basically, um, this is uh, this is to make sure the same person doesn't see your ad too many times. If they see, if somebody see, the the most likely somebody is to buy is uh, the first time they see your ad. So if they see your ad multiple times, let me see if I can um, let me see if I can draw on the screen here. Um, basically. It's a deprecating curve, so people are more likely to uh, to click on your ad the first time they see it, as opposed to the subsequent times. So we're just going to click next here. I won't go too much into theory. And let's say we want to advertise in um, we want to advertise in the United States. So we'll click United States, and uh, let's say we want to advertise a couple other places. I always like selecting a couple different countries. Rico, Dominican, um, Jamaica. British Virgin Islands. Okay, cool. So we have a couple places. And um, ad exchanges. We could say, okay, where where do we want our where do we want our ads to show? So we could say you know, maybe we want MGID, maybe we want, um, uh, you know, oh, MGID has a lot of uh, US traffic and they have a lot of desktop traffic. Native ads, maybe we want it to show on native ads, maybe we want to show it on Outbrain, maybe we want to show it on, you know, so you could pick what other ad, whatever ad networks you want it to show on here and um, you can advertise on those places. Ligatus, live intent. Etc. Um, what I'll do is I'll select web because if you you don't want your app to show you don't want your ads to show up in app in app is very bad uh, it doesn't perform very well so I always prefer to have my ad show up on the web now if it depends on what you're promoting if you're promoting a product that you know you're you're trying to get app installs maybe this is a good way to go but I I've never advertised app install type products so I always advertise on the web. So I'm going to set, select device type desktop. Again, I don't want to advertise on mobile phones. I don't want to advertise in apps. I really like desktop advertising because I feel like I know what I'm getting. Um, and I'd also limit operating systems. So I'm going to uh, I'm only I'm go, I'm going to limit it to uh, you know let's just let's just select. Um, You know, let's just select Windows and uh, Macs. So I'm just doing that, and um, then we'll click. So there's some advanced options, but basically, I'm thinking I might get some fraudulent traffic if some Linuxes are showing up. 
not a big deal, but we could select all. Maybe let's just look at the data afterwards. And then there's all this advanced options. You don't really need to worry about this. Um, it's not a big deal. So what we'll do is we'll click Next. And uh, we can upload creatives here. So um, here's where we can click Upload Creative. We can mix a number of headlines. We can mix a number of images. So uh, let's, let's get some headlines. Now to get some of the headlines, I would suggest when you're in uh, the Super Affiliate System, you go down here. You go to Add Swipes. And um, remember, we have our business. You know, we have, I explained the ad swipes here. And we have business opportunity ad swipes right here, which is what we're promoting. Uh, My Online Business Empire is technically a, uh, a business opportunity. And I have a list of headlines for you that you can select right here. So we'll just we'll just copy a couple uh, we'll just copy a couple headlines. Let's just copy a couple headlines. And um, let's throw them let's throw them in here. So I'm going to get rid of that one because it says it's too long. This one it says it's too long. This one says it's too long. So you have a couple headlines that they say are too long for what we're doing. Well, you know what? I'm just going to throw them all in. Screw it. So it says different exchanges have different different uh, different lengths for their headlines so you could make them all you could make them all one size or another size or whatnot um, but really uh, it looks like the over top max is 140 so I won't worry too much about it I'm just throwing this in real quick okay um, if you really want to you could replace this with you know city so shocking city millionaire reveals you know something you could say city so that way it looks like the person from that particular city is um, is you know making the money and that'll increase your conversion rate etc so that's that's kind of how you do things so then we we have a bunch of headlines we're testing and then we can drag and drop images so let's just select a bunch of images and uh, we just selected a bunch of images and we see you see I have a bunch of images that are showing up here we'll get rid of this so you have a number of images that are showing up okay so it's just going to test all these images and then we can have description. So description, a description can be something longer. Um, in our case, I'm just going to uh, actually copy some text from the first paragraph of what we have here. Just to make it quick. Again, you can spend more time on this. You can spend less time on this. But uh, I'm just using this for purposes of showing you how fast it can be done. Generally, my method of advertising is just throwing stuff up and seeing what works. Um, that's, all, that's been my method of advertising. So I'll throw stuff up and see what data comes back. So I'd say the brand, let's just say it's John Cristani. We could say it's MOB, um, and the call to action is learn more. An icon image, um, icon image. I'm not sure what the icon should be, but you know we can just you know we could say that's the icon. Um, now there we go. Uh, and what we'll do is basically we will um, 
delete this so it's in line. And what we have now is we have a bunch of things. We have a bunch of creatives and we just click create. We'll wait a second. So it doesn't seem to be going through. So what I'm assuming is must be at most 300 characters long. So we want it all to be green. How you can work from home and make money online. So we'll just say learn how you can work from home and make money. Now I'm going to get rid of the ads that have um, that have uh, that have error messages because it looks like it's not letting us submit our ads. And again, remember, guys, part of working with ad networks is you're always going to run into little errors, um, and you just need to work through the errors because there's always going to be little things that pop up. Um, the software interfaces change all the time. So part of our jobs is to kind of go with the changing software interfaces. That's just kind of part of the nature of the job as I see it um, because the interfaces change week by week. And uh, part of our job is just, you know, really our job is just to submit ads and um, look to see what works and what doesn't. So here we have, it looks like Outbrain isn't accepting a lot of different images. So, you know, in the future, we might not even want to get rid of Outbrain. So it looks like they're not selecting a lot of our images. So I think they we could we can add in one image. So we have two images here. So let's see, we had thought we had one more image. I thought we had one more image that worked on Outbrain. Nope. So that's it. So we have these two images. And uh, of course, we could always look to find more images on the internet. But these two work for now. So what we'll do is we'll go create. Exposed Idaho mom makes blah, 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 etc. And uh, learn more. Um, here we go. And these are all pending. So then we just click save. And that's it. And done. So that's how we do it. And what will happen is we go into our tracker and we should see a new campaign here. And you see Mo Promo 1. This is in the DSP and it'll show the total budget. It'll say pending. And this is where you can go in and start looking at, you know, uh, all the, the history and the conversions and what have you um, to start using the, uh, the DSP. So, as you see, I have some money loaded in on this account. Um, that's basically it. There's not a lot more to it. I hope that explained to you how fast and easy it is. Again, it took me 20 minutes um, to do all that, and that was with explanation um, to create a bunch of ads. Now, in the future, to, to be able to uh, more effectively to, to do your own ads, obviously you can, you know, you can, if you want to find more images, you can go to Google and type in, you know, stuff like, you know, luxury items or whatever, whatever it is, you know, whatever you want your images to be, you know, to have, you know, click, you know, make sure they're kind of clickbaity on, on native ads. Or you can try out new headlines. Or you could try out new, um, you know, new, new. Uh, you can get new ideas for headlines or descriptions from my swipe file. We have this monster swipe file here, and really, it's after that. It's just about cutting the red, growing the green, looking for what's profitable. Um, this is just, you know, this is just a test. Uh, this is just a test account. But basically, looking for what's profitable, what's not, 
And uh, that's it. That's how you run everything. I hope that makes sense. And I hope you guys have learned from this. If you guys have any questions about setting up um, native advertising campaigns using the volume DSP, uh, put them in the links below and we will uh, get to them. Enjoy.